All right, guys, welcome back, and this is going to be a small showing of what I want to do. So as you can see here, um, this is the basic setup of a three by three, or three, or yeah, three by three. Uh, the yellow hammer, the yellow indicates what the harvester is going to use. Now, if I put my, oh, I'm not going to show it. Um, because the planter's down one block, I'm not going to be able to show you. But the, uh, the hammer will basically light the area that the certain re um, Minecraft factory reloader mechanic is going to use. It's going to be able to see. So as you can see, you can see this area, so it's going to produce in this area. So anything that gets harvested will basically grow. Now, the problem I have right now is this stuff don't grow fast at all. And we got full power. We're using a, let's, a hardened energy cell. Um, and to make those is pretty difficult. But I got a lot of good resources. So harden. So just to show you. Um, this is a harden. You have to have a leadstone energy cell. And then you combine it either with ivory ingot. Or invar ingrate, ingrate. Or you can do it with copper ingrate and invar. And redstone conductor. I did it this way. This way was too much. <coughs> so... Meh, this is this is a completely drained one. So that's there's your your big differences. This is a lead cell energy cell, and this is a leadstone energy cell frame. So you get these, and to make these, you have to do it like this in order to make a leadstone energy cell. So this will produce a hell of a lot of energy, which is fine. But I've got the max output to 100, that will slow it down from draining completely, and it's attached via uh, leadstone energy conduits to the planter and to the harvester and then from there it just will harvest shoot in here which I've got this blocked by this so let's take this off real quick as you can see it'll go in here as you can see and because this doesn't have redstone power which you can you know you can put redstone right there and it'd be fine uh, I just like keeping everything compact good so you just shift and right click and I'm not really going to be going in this very often. Uh, attached is a routed interface pipe. And basically it's an item transport pipe. Um, and inside it I've got the item extractor chip and the broadcast chip. So I can always look and see what's inside there at all times. Nine times out of ten I don't really need the broadcaster chip. But it's well worth having. Um, I did fix this up a little bit because I got tired of running that way and that way. So this is actually a doorway we can use. Pretty nifty. Uh, I am in bat form, and I've got to get out of the habit of being in bat form. Um, so, but because we're in bat form, it makes it a hell of a lot easier to reach spots. I don't think I have enough now that I look at it. So we'll see. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach... Yeah, I don't think I have enough. We're going to attach this... Oh god, do I not have enough? I'm going to attach this to our already pro in progress uh, system here. Maybe I can find them in here. Oh, it's cobblestone only, cobblestone only. Come here, item frames. Where are you? I don't see them. Oh, here they are. <coughs> Let's get this out of the way. Alright, and then uh, we'll... We'll get this attached up so you can see what's going on. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're actually going to wind up having to uh, want to do something different with our... That's in the way, isn't it? Damn it. Okay, we should see... Maybe? Come on. I may not need to because there's a, um, oh, there it is, see, and now, uh, and I'll, we'll go back up and it'll go in here, it'll shoot through here, go down through here, and land in one of these wonderful chests, so, there we go, so that's starting and working in progress, um, let's just dump these out of our inventory, and all we have to do is this right here. Boom, boom, boom. Done, done, done. Got to kill a creeper a little while ago. Alright, so now, with that being said, we will have a, you can have a continuously running um, farming area. 
this little small area. But I want to do something different in the fact that I want to... Uh... Oh, let me show you this. I whitelisted that only these this type of seed would come through. So the seed will go through. Um, where's the best way to do this? I don't want to mess up anything. I'm not going to mess up that. Yeah, kind of. We'll just break this one for now. It'll see the go through and it'll go in here. You can filter it, but I'm not really worried about it. Um, so yeah, and again, you can see this thing's running on 8,000. Ain't no big deal. There. So, uh, but what I want to do is I actually want to change it up and put barley. I think barley would do better. I think barley would do better. Yeah, barley I think would do a lot better. Uh, potatoes take a little longer to grow. Barley's really, really fast growing. Um, we don't need a lot. We just need about nine. But I also gotta replace these. So, so we need a couple more. That's like 12. Complicated, complicated, complicated matter here. Let's fill this back up. This is 31. That's plenty of seed now. Get this all filled. It's 14. It's not bad. 15. It's even better. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here. Oh, let's do this first. No. Right click with an empty hand. Take this seed out. Whitelist that seed only. Okay, break this one, grab this seed out, put this seed in, I just put them wherever, just to fill it up. Okay, let's reapply this one, and if my theory is right, whoops, yeah, there we go, probably should grow faster with that. I'm using concentrated um, fertilized dirt from random things, which is pretty awesome. Um, I got three of these left. And I want to use them. Let me see something here. No. Nope. Oh, yes, it will. Gotta kind of, like, throw it in there, maybe? Maybe? Hello? Hmm. Okay, we'll see. Anyway, so the, what that's going to do basically is that will help us with our food resource. Because we're going to need resourcing and food because I want to redo this whole area. I want to change it up a little. Um, what I'd like to do is build a type of structure that would fit into a farming structure. A farming building per se. Uh, Maybe remove this area and put it maybe over here, maybe? Give us some good groundwork, grounding area. Remove that, um, remove this guy right here completely and build it right here, which would probably be the wiser spot. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, I decided to change my mind like I always seem to do, and I've decided to put the farm tower over here which would pretty much make sense you know kind of like a small building and then a big building right here maybe so that means a lot of work has to be done a lot of clippings and things like that have to be taken care of just knocking out all this stuff just in case always nice to have extra seeds laying around just in case uh, I have a friend down here somewhere. I don't know where he's at. Uh, I did get respiration and blast protection too, which is pretty nice. Um, I think this will work out a little bit better because we will basically be able to maybe use a sludge for our for our our uh, XP farm maybe. And I don't know. I'm thinking of maybe it's going to take me a few. But, uh, it's slowly going. Um, creating some type of, um, 
like a piping for the inside because I want to make one of these three buildings my uh, enchantment area. So this is, of course, is the um, bedroom and then the far side is the kitchen. I did have a slight problem with the plumbing mechanics of the kitchen because I had put an extractor chip and attached a chest to the uh, Tinker's Construct. Um, table and that kind of screwed me over because it was it would I would get it delivered and then it would extract it immediately right out so I got that fixed so I was impressed with that but uh yeah and so let's go grab some dirt I think I still got some over here in my little work chest I think I don't whoa okay oh I'll just use cobblestone no big deal be getting rid of this chest soon. Could just be having around my little luggage chest. So, uh, what I'm thinking is, is having a hallway, which means I gotta remember where the hell the thing is at here. Walk in here real quick so I can see. Uh, hmm. I think these are the blocks. These blocks come down. So... May I have to make another entrance, maybe? Maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we go one, two, three, four, five. Let's say this is five right here. One, two, three, four. So that would work out good. Alright, let's take you off. You off. There's my sticky piston. Okay. Think about that. Anyways, so what we would do is, is we would have to have like a hallway right here. I think I only did the hallways three. Didn't I? One. No, I didn't. Did that one two. That one three. That one three. And that one two. So. Um. We'll do three on this one. Okay. So. so and of course, this is just planning. So I could be totally off. Let's put this back just in case. Uh, let's see, so we're three here, so that means we would have to go out one, two, three, right? So far with me? One, two, three, like that. Alright, and it's going to be a project that's going to be done very slowly, so we'll have to do like progressional steps on it. Now, what I like to do is to make a circle. I think a circle would look kind of cool. Now, you can't make circles in Minecraft, I know. But what you can do is you can change it. So, like, there's one. And you gotta do this very, very carefully. Two. Um, of course, as usual, right where I need to put the damn block. There's no block. There's three, four, five, six. That's right, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. This would be too big. Five. And this is five. Right? You with me so far, right? Alright, so then we go one, two. One, two. And then one. One, two. Uh oh. Two. This may not come out like I wanted to. I think I done screwed it up. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. We're good. We're good. We're good. Like that. Like that. And then. Still almost. It's a circle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then. Do we taper it off here? Maybe? What do you think? Should we taper it off here? I think we should. Let's taper it off here. What does that look like? That looks pretty good. Does this look off to you, or is it just because of the holes? I think it's just because of the holes. That's pretty nice. I like that. We'll stick with that. I'm not using any of the Tinker's Construct stuff, because I just want to use that strictly for mining purposes only. If that makes any sense. Get more tools usage out of it, versus doing it with uh, doing it like this. 
So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Should we go four? That would probably be better, wouldn't it? Let's do four just in case. Come here. I love being a bat. So much things you can do as a bat. You can't do as a regular regular Steve. I guess that's what you call it, right? Uh out like that, right? Is that right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we gotta go out one more. Like that. Now how does that look? That looks way better. Feels wonky though. Like it's going this way a little too much. But it's pretty close. Pretty lined up. I guess if we did this maybe, it would kinda wait a minute. That's is that three? Yeah, that's three. Okay. Slap that right there. Yeah, see that looks better. That looks better. Okay, it's just per perception is what we what our problem is. Yeah, that looks really good. So now that is the inner part. Now what I have to do is I have to come back over. Well, that's the walkway. Should we? Ah, uh, think about this. The inside's gonna be filled with um, dirt and whatnot. And how are you gonna walk it? Cause you always gotta walk your stuff. You know, you never know. Have a visitor come over and want to see what you did. You know, you don't want to let leave them hanging where they can't go inside. The sealable area would be pretty nice. You know, but if a monster gets in there, zombie or a skeleton, they'll walk all over the stuff. Um, get back some of those cobblestone real quick. All right, let me see here. If Okay, so if this is the outer wall, right? This is the wall that you would walk around. It means we would need a inner wall walkway. So we would need to go like this. Come on. Is there going to be enough room, though? Might be. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. If we put... If we had to put one right there, would that be enough? To get around? Yes. Comfortably? No. But... I don't know why I'm thinking I don't have enough cobblestone. Freaking ravine down here full of it. I'll do some more caribou stew. Of course, I'll replace the cobblestone, cobblestone, or something else. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna use the Tinker's construct stuff until like, until like I'm doing some heavy mining. Oh god, dang it! Do you people ever go? What in the hell is on top of your head? Come here, you. <gasps> you have kitty cat ears. I gotcha. I think I have that one already. Hmm. I know I have this one. And you go away. Now, we need as much rotten flesh as we can get. Oh. Knockback's a bitch, isn't it? Alright, let's go heal up real quick. I love these crystals. The crystals are so cool. You can just eat up and. Boom, instant. Alright, so. That's hmm. What if we stuck another piece of cobblestone out here? Like this. Right? You still with me? And do it like this. Come on, come on. Come on, fellas. I'm just trying to do a little job here. Can you find somewhere else to be for a little while? 
I got work. I got my work cut out for me here. Come on, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Wait, no, don't run. Asshole. Oh, what's this? What you got on top of your head? Okay. Skeleton, skeleton, skeletons. What the hell was that? Oh, that's the skeleton shooting at me. Whoopsie. All right. Yeah, that would probably work out better for us. We have a nice walkway then. You know, you jag it around, of course. Then, soil in the middle. Doesn't have to be a lot. Come here. You are dead. Damn, still three hits. I'm trying to build a weapon that knocks him out in one. Hard to do. Hard to do. Okay. So yeah, I think that would work out pretty well. Don't you? Then we just fill it in with uh, c uh, fertilized dirt. Which is something that will be complicated to make. And put glass all the way around. So I'd, I'd have to find an, a desert biome. Which is really difficult. I don't know why. But I like that look. It's a nifty little look. And then in the middle, uh, let's see something here. Let me dig this dirt real quick. This is all part of the processing, people. You can't build something unless you know what the hell you're building. You know what I mean? So I think I like about Minecraft the most is you, you can just build anything. But if you're serious and you really want to try something out, just take your time and experiment a little and take it from there. Super, super awesome. That might be enough dirt. Yeah, that might be enough. Get up there. Alright. So, this should be the center point, if I remember straight. Is it? Oop. Yeah, that's center point right there. And this is center point right here. And this is center point. Center point right there. Alright, so that's center point. <sighs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Stay down there, please. Actually, you need to die. Because you have armor on, you won't die that easily. Go get health. Got all of these crystals. I want to put one on each building. Mm. Things are awesome. Okay. So that's our center point. So if we took the center point out and used let's see. This side and this side. This side and this side for piping, right? And machinery. That might work out. I don't know. See, I don't know if that's gonna be enough room. And that's not really a lot of one, two, whoops, no stop. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we did it like that, so I did this in one of the my other playthroughs, I think. Let's play is like Village Defender kind of deal. Ow! You jerk. Ow! Just fall and die. Let's see. We need some more dirt. Need some more dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. Probably off camera. I'm going to also build a crucible. I think that's what it's called. Uh, from thermal expansion. So I can get some obsidian rolling. Uh, I think I talked about this before. Uh, I just don't have the material to do it right now. I have to do some more mining. But after that, I should be able to do it pretty easily. Let's get this skeleton out of the way. Where is he? Oh, hello. Oh, shit. That was creepy. You just, I didn't even see that creeper, did you? Wow. Hello, sir. How are we doing? Thanks! 
I needed some extra dirt. Thanks so much. So, uh, my hopes of giving a server are coming to fruition, thankfully. Uh, so I'll soon be getting a server, and I don't know exactly what to do with that. Uh, that thought, because uh, I'll be actually wanting to play with you guys. And, uh, you know, but there'll be some, you know, some small rules everybody will have to follow. Great. I just made a zombie hangout pad. Wonderful. <sighs> Damn zombies. It's alright. We'll take care of this. Don't worry. Alright, so with that... Oh, come on. Dudes, really. Seriously? Actually, I really need your meat. So please, give me everything you've got, please. Thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. You're so kind. Come here, you. Ow! Oh. Did you drop dirty meat? No dirty meat. Damn it. Oh, got him. Okay, here's some dirty meat. Good. Alright. Ooh, XP. Gotta love it. I don't know where the hell y'all are coming from. Over there. Alright. So. What were we just talking about? Yeah, the server thing. Uh, I want to play with you guys, but I want to make sure we do some, you know, follow some basic rules like, you know, no theft. But in this mod, you actually don't have to worry about that because you can actually lock your stuff up. Which is pretty nice. So. Shh! Quiet. I will deal with you in a minute. I'm talking to the birds. Alright, so anyways, we run piping and whatnot through the middle. Can we do that? We should be able to do that. If not, we can run it through the run it through one of these and have the have the material all set up. And what I want to do is I want to take the automatic growers <coughs> and the re and whatnot, and I want to have them uh, on each level, and then on each level they will just basically drop. So we'll have like wheat and the next level barley next level tomatoes etc 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 and it's gonna be made out of all glass so I'm probably gonna have to go exploring um, and deal with that so I'll have to get some food <clears throat> going on that one could I go to the tropicraft and get it it's a good question Let's see about that anyways so this is gonna be the next project well side project we're gonna be working on my next real project actually is getting a crafting, um, I'm sorry, a, a uh, enchanting room going. So, until then guys, remember we do this for fun, not for profit. And until I see you again, I'll talk to you later. Bye.